you can see that this is an ice cube now the cube here itself represents a figure which has the same three dimensions that is the length breadth and height and you know that in a cube the length breadth and height is the same so suppose i want to know that how much water this ice cube contains so that i can know about all the ice trees in my home how much water they contain for that i want to know how much water one ice cube contains now how will i find that now we know that there is this capacity or the volume of the cube which will tell me about that water now what is this volume the capacity of an object is actually the volume of substance its interior can accommodate now that is actually what i want to know how much vo volume of water this ice cube is containing it's in, in its interior so how will i find that now simply we know that cube is a special case of the cuboid and we have learned that a volume of a cuboid can be found out by multiplying its length breadth and height and as the cube is a special case of cuboid that means it has the same dimensions like length breadth and height just the difference is that all its length breadth and height are same so we represent its length breadth and height as the single letter a which represents the same length breadth and height so you take up any edge it will give you same as a so how can i derive the formula of volume of this cube from a cuboid well using this formula let us substitute this length breadth and height with its dimension such as a let's do it now we know that volume is length into breadth into height so the volume of this cube will be what length that is again a into breadth that is also represented by this a into height now this height is also a so into a so we can say a into a into a is what a cube so we found out that volume of a cube can be calculated by multiplying its sides three times that will give you a cube so the formula of a volume of a cube is always a cube where this a represents the edge now let us find out the volume of this ice cube do it yourself now we know that the volume of a cube is what a cube where this a represents the edge of the cube so putting this in this formula we'll get the answer so the volume will be what a cube now what is a cube a into a into a now instead of this a let us substitute 4 so 4 into 4 into 4 64 cm now what unit will i put well cube is always represented with cubic units because we are multiplying the centimeter into centimeter into centimeter three times so we get centimeter cube so remember volume is always represented with cubic units now suppose i already know about the cube that its volume is says 343 cm cubes now if i know about the volume with the help of this formula of the volume can i take out the edge of that cube well let's see if the volume of the ice cube is 343 cm cube let's take the example of our ice cube only if suppose i knew from before that the volume of that ice cube is 343 cm cube can you help me finding out the edge of that ice cube do it now we know that the volume of a cube is what a cube where a represents the edge so instead of this let us substitute the information given to us the volume of a cube is what 343 is equal to now we don't know this a cube so let us keep it as a cube so according to the information we are given that a cube is equal to 343 or i can say 
a into a into a is 343. Now to take out the value of a, what do we need to do? We need to shift this cube to that side. Not sh to shift this cube from this side of the equal sign to that side, what we need to do? We need to cube root this 343. So to shift this a cube, to shift this cube to that side, we need to cube root the, three, the number 343. So let's do it. So a will be what? Cube root of 343. That will give us the answer as 7 centimeter. So we found out that if the volume of the ice cube is given to us, we can find its edge with the same formula of the volume.